everything going on at Columbia, UCLA, the campus is kind of getting taken over. Doesn't That's seem a very broad question. Well, I mean, bro. it doesn't seem like really a pro like people want to say you have the right with the first amendment it's in a protest, but it's like an encampment. They're kind of literally camping on college campuses, closing down buildings. Like it's getting a little out of hand, We're taking down the American flag, raising the Palestinian flag. Like it just seems like there's no order there. Well, uh, that's Stuff. Again, that's a broad question because, as you know, do you know, you guys know who Bassem Youssef is, right? He no. Is, um, he is um, Palestinian. Is he Palestinian? I forget what it is, but he's Arab. And he um, is very pro Palestinian. He, is, he has family members in Gaza and he was a, he's a comedian and um, became very outspoken after this started happening. He had this like interview with Piers Morgan that went viral, yeah, yeah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. So uh, if you listen to him, you, hear a certain perspective and then as i was i told you i was at this work dinner last night and i was sat next to a rabbi and if you listen to the rabbi it's a completely different perspective so i think it was like um it's people talking over each other and so my advice to the rabbi asked me my advice last night my advice to the rabbi was that you can't tell people they're stupid that they don't know their history especially kids who are going to higher institutions of learning so that they can learn how to critically think. And they are testing the bounds of First Amendment and their freedom of expression. You can't tell them they're stupid because then you're never going to get anywhere with them. Yeah. Right? But do you so, still think they're protected by the First Amendment? Right. No, well, no, that's another question. And so, the, the, so for the other side, a similar thing. Like you can't tell people, you know, I, uh, you know, it's a genocide. It's whatever. Those, those are trigger words. I just think they're talking over each other, and this is a, a conflict that neither of us are going to solve. Sure. And it's been happening for centuries, and it's not going to happen over the next few weeks or the next few months. Now, the whole First Amendment thing, um, I, I believe that this has gone beyond the First Amendment. Yeah. The First Amendment is actually for governments and for public institutions. These are public institutions. And they have to, or these are private institutions, most of them, and they don't have to abide by that, by the, the First Amendment. They can abide by the spirit of the First Amendment if they want to, but also they have the right to be able to make sure that their university and their business is operating, that right. kids are in class, um, that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing as educators and people who are tasked with making sure that people on these campuses are safe. Should people be able to protest? Absolutely. It's the bedrock of, you know, for sure, our constitution in America that we are able to have our freedom of expression doesn't mean that you have to agree with uh, someone. That's what the First Amendment is for, is for speech that you disagree with. So um, I don't like the violence. I don't like the anti-Semitism. I don't like the um, any sort of bigotry or, or racism. Taking down the flag, I think, is just like disrespectful. But, yeah, yes, it is. Especially when you live in America. It is, but here's the thing. We have the right to burn our flag. We have a right to criticize our country. Doesn't mean that I agree Burning with it. the flag? Yeah, I hate that. Well, you have the right to do it. Yeah, but, but, it doesn't right, mean but that, like you said, that's... Yeah, it doesn't mean that you should do it. Yeah. Now, gonna, uh, listen, and, and I am not agreeing that it's okay for people to do it, but you have the right to do it. Well, that's f***ed up. Yeah, I agree. I th we had, we've had Dana White on a few times, and he's like talked about how people are so afraid now to like be proud to be an American. Yes. But Which I, I think don't is think performative patriotism um, is being proud of being an American. I just think it's performative patriotism. But I'm just being, saying, a, being a patriot yeah. actually means n knowing and understanding that people have the right to do things that we don't like in America. But burning so, the flag is such a lack of respect yeah, for the I, country that you live I, in. I, I agree. And I feel like they don't appreciate enough I that agree. they live in a country like America. 